Always find what you love at Total Wine and More. With so many great bottles to choose from at the lowest price, it's easy to find your favorite Cabernet or a new single barrel bourbon to try with some help from one of their friendly guides. And with every bottle comes the confidence of knowing you just found something amazing. With the lowest prices for over 30 years, find what you love and love what you find only at Total Wine and More. Curbside pickup and delivery available in most areas. Visit TotalWine.com to learn more. Spirits not sold in Virginia, North Carolina. Drink responsibly and be 21. Welcome, everybody, to another Whiskey Quickie. And today, we're looking at Peg Leg Porker. So Peg Leg Porker is a bourbon that is coming from the award-winning pitmaster Kerry Bringle. So he is the first actual print master that's come out with his own bourbon as well. And he has, of course, a deep love for bourbon as well as appreciation uh, for barbecue as they pair so well together. And we're going to go ahead and dive into this. So today we're looking at the white label. The white label is, of course, a Tennessee straight bourbon. It is 90 proof, aged around four to six years. Now what they do a little bit differently is they filter it through hickory charcoal. Mm, used for smoking or hickory charcoal finish, whatever, whatever that means. I'm just assuming it might be like a Jack Daniels, like drip through or something, or just dump a barrel through charcoal. You get the idea. Uh, SRP is $40. Nice. I love pit masters. I watch a bunch of them. I love barbecue in general. Yeah. Barbecue and bourbon's like two of my favorite things. Which is weird. It's like when you start doing barbecue. I, I both try to fake something. At, <laughs> I, I try to, <laughs> you, I try really to pretend I'm an expert in both. So. <laughs> uh, I think I, what I, it's really weird is like we were like, we pair barbecue and bourbon together. But usually when I start the barbecue to like begin a pork butt, what do I always grab? I always grab like a, a beer, like a light beer is what I always start off with. But at some point it transitions over to bourbon. Yeah. But it's when you start doing the pork with the bourbon it's so good all the fattiness really goes good with the sweetness mm -hmm. and the saltiness and everything it's all it's all meant to be together we should probably have carry over some time to cook us some cook us some barbecue and we'll provide the bourbon deal all right see you carry we'll do it let's go ahead and start with the uh, the rating here so on the nose what are you getting hmm. but creaminess um yeah i'd say the creaminess is definitely there Slight bit of orange, not a ton. Um, like an orange rind, maybe a little lemon peel. Some citrusy is there. It's like very faint though. The creaminess is like more what I smell. It's really, yeah, it's more pronounced. Uh, and it's hard to say creaminess is pronounced. Like it's 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 a subtle nose. Like it's yeah. not in your face. It's not overly, uh, you know, pungent with alcohol or anything like that. I mean, it's it's just a, a solid all around kind of like middle of the road kind of nose. Yep. All right, under the taste. nice and delicate i like um, it there's that creaminess translates to the palate there's like i'm getting a little more lemon like burnt lemon kind of toasted lemon something like lemon tart on the finish um yeah it's very balanced it's got a little bit of spice um yeah it's it's very good <laughs> those citrus flavors are really yeah. there though like i think the like they it's like you can't not find the citrus flavors. Like I think that's probably yeah. like the, the most that you're going to get out of this one for sure. Yeah. The creaminess and citrus combined is like, that's the two prominent notes. Like a dream sickle. Yeah. Maybe I could say a dream sickle. But I, it actually wouldn't want... be a dream sickle. I'm just saying like, if you were to combine them, it sounds like a dream sickle, but the taste isn't like a dream sickle. Uh, I'm more like a lemon tart on this. I don't know. I lemon. think I agree with you. Yeah. I'm reaching for that one. Yeah, you're always reaching. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and rate it. So on the nose, where you at? Oh, I was actually thumbs this kind of sideways. Yeah, thumb. I'll say it's side. like it's like you want a little bit more, but you got the creaminess, yeah. but it wasn't off putting. I don't yeah. know, the middle of the road. Yeah, I I think I was just still hooked on the taste. The taste was thumbs up for me. I thought for it was sure. Really good. So there's the there's your rating for the taste. Yep. But on the finish, where you at? Mm, sideways. I mean, it's you know kind of. Just falls flat. There's not, you know, at the proof it is. But overall, I think it's really good. I think it's a very solid offering as their foundational or flagship yeah, $40, product. You know, $40 a bottle, I think it's a great offering. Yeah, and again, as their flagship product, that I, I don't think you can go wrong with it. But cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.